As Tropical Storm Hermine moves out, we're getting an idea of the devastation she's leaving behind. Good afternoon, I'm Robert Hadlock. And I'm Leslie Rohde. Some parts of Central Texas saw nearly 15 inches of rain. At least one person is still missing after her car was swept off a bridge in West Austin. Homes were flooded, thousands of people lost power, and dozens of roads are still closed. But we're not out of the woods yet. Rain is still on the radar. Jim Spencer joins us from the First Warning Weather Center. Thank you, Robert. You're absolutely right. A very dark sky out there right now over the capital city because if it's not raining where you are, it is raining uh, somewhere else now here in the metro area. What else is new? We have seen this pattern repeat over and over again, as I mentioned earlier, over the last 36 hours. Let me show you on Viper radar right now uh, where the rain is falling. And while there is no flash flood warning currently, um, it is feasible that we could go back under flash flood warning here in the metro area uh, before too long simply because the ground is absolutely saturated uh, in these areas because of the incredible rainfall that we saw overnight. Rain is falling and these pockets of uh, red there are very, very heavy tropical downpours still in association with tropical storm Hermine from south of Gerald to west of Georgetown to west of Round Rock across Cedar Park down to Lake Travis and on down to below Dripping Springs there. Very heavy rainfall falling southeast of Dripping Springs. And let's put this into motion, and you'll see that that is moving right up towards central Austin and likely to be here while a lot of people are still caught in afternoon rush hour between now and 6 o'clock. We have area rivers in flood. A lot to talk about coming up in first warning weather.